We have some newly released audio tapes from President Nixon. Now, he's already had tapes released with anti-Semitic comments on there and racist comments. And now he and his White House crew uh, go off in a homophobic direction. But the thing that I love about this is it, he thinks he's being liberal as he argues something that is the height of homophobia and bigotry. So, let me break it down. He says, quote, They have a problem. They're born that way. Oh, okay, well, thank you for recognizing facts. At least you're starting off in the right direction. You know that. That's all. I think they are. Anyway, my point is, though, when I say they're born that way, the tendency is there. But the point is, look at that. Once a society moves in that direction, talking about gay people, right? The vitality goes out of that society. Now, isn't that right, Henry? He's talking to Henry Kissinger, okay? Kissinger responds, Well, Nixon says, Do you see any other changes anywhere where it doesn't fit? Kissinger says, Well, the Romans were notorious, and the Greeks. Nixon says, The Greeks! And they had plenty of it. By God, I am not going to have a situation where we pass along a law indicated, well, now kids, just go out and be gay. They can do it, just leave them alone. That's a lifestyle I don't want to touch. So, do you understand what his argument is? I guess if I'm being fair to him, he's saying, well, I mean, whatever, man. I think they're born that way, or at least there's a tendency that way. Leave them alone, let them do whatever they want. But we're not going to, you know, pass a law accepting gay marriage or giving them equal rights or preventing discrimination, right? So, may he's liberal for the time, maybe, right? But his other argument is, well, obviously, the uh, Roman Empire and the Greek Empire, well, they collapsed because of gayness. Duh! Well, clearly, clearly, everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. You had, uh, you know, Euthyphro and Nero, and uh, give me other Roman names and Greek names, whatever, I don't know. Uh, what were they doing? They decided, well, you know, we could discuss the greatness of Rome and uh, have another democratic hearing, but I'd rather suck some dicks today. No meeting today. No meeting today. No more expanding of the empire. I'd rather uh, blow Tom. Look, I get it. I get it. You know, in some societies, there were uh, there, the acceptance of homosexuality was higher. In other societies, it was lower. You know, there's some stories, I don't know how true they are, of in some uh, societies, there was pedophilia that was accepted. I think that's totally wrong. But uh, the idea that you can pin the downfall of an empire on uh, people having same-sex relations, well, that's obviously absurd. That's obviously, I mean, what are you going to do? What, in order for that to be the case, in order for that to be true, what would have to happen? Nonstop, 24-7, people would have to just say, fuck everything, we're just going to have gay sex all day long. Nonstop orgies. That's what we're for. Nonstop orgies, and if shit collapses around us, hey, it is what it is, man. At least I'm getting off. And that obviously didn't happen. So it's silly, and it is bigoted, and it is homophobic. But mo most importantly, it's stupid. This is why I want to talk about this. Apparently, Nixon was stupid. Apparently, him and his whole, all of his White House buddies were sitting there nodding along like, oh, right, right, right. Sucking dicks led to the end of the Roman Empire. And, and the Greeks. Right, right. Look, let's throw in one more old tape here. <laughs> let's have some fun with it. Uh, here's what he had to say about abortion. President Nixon told his special counsel, Chuck Colson, that even though he believed abortion encouraged permissiveness, it shouldn't always be out of the question. He said, well, yeah, no, sometimes abortion is necessary, obviously, right. When you have a black and a white. Or rape. So interracial relationships are like rape. I'm telling you, man. Look, we're no prize today. Human beings are no prize today. But we are moving in the right direction. We are becoming more and more enlightened, more and more rational, more and more logical. We're dropping old dogmas and silly religious beliefs and tribal beliefs. That's tribalism at its finest. 
okay? Well, obviously, you get an abortion. It's a black and a white. That's wrong, morally. That's not right. Why? Why is that wrong? Why is that right? Me no like you blacks, because I'm an idiot. I mean, that's what it comes down to. Apparently, Richard Nixon, fucking idiot. 